case briefs and so much more ls data's got what you're looking for a 1927 supreme court case robbins dry dock and repair company v flint played a pivotal role in determining the parameters of contractual benefit the dispute centered around whether a third party could sue for damages resulting from a breach of contract, demonstrating that such a party needed to establish that the contract was directly made for their benefit. The case began when time charterers filed a lawsuit against the dry dock company for the alleged loss of use of a steamship. The charterers asserted that the company's negligence had led to propeller damage, causing a consequential delay. Despite the lower court's ruling in favor of the charterers, the steamship's owners appealed for further scrutiny from the higher court. Central to the case was the crucial fact that the charterers were not signatories of the contract made between the steamship owners and the dry dock company. Asserting that this contract was made for their benefit, the charterers claimed entitlement to seek damages for its breach. However, the Supreme Court returned a starkly different verdict, significantly flipping the decisions of the lower courts. The justices found that the charterers were not in a position to sue the dry dock company over a loss of vessel use as they failed to prove a direct benefit from the contract. This ruling firmly defined the bounds of third-party contract rights, underlining the importance of a direct contractual relationship for claiming damages. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsc.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.